What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me in the video. Today's video is a little overview slash review from this company, Strapino. So this is sponsored. They Strapino did send this to me for purposes of videoing and reviews and overviews and whatnot. So there's that. But let's do a little quick unboxing. This did just come in the mail and I have not even opened it up yet, so I don't even know what to expect right now. I mean I know what they sent me, but I you know what I mean. Get ready to be strapped. All right, little uh, product manual. I don't know who needs that. Little bag, it looks like. Looks like some sort of bag to put all your straps and whatnot in. Soft shackle, soft shackle, and then one, and two. So you're gonna have to just forgive the birds chirping in the background if you can even hear that, but so this is your soft shackle right here, and then this is your ratchet strap. So this is a retractable ratchet strap. So since I have you guys in the back of the truck, let's just go over a couple quick differences between the Strapino retractable ratchet strap and then your standard one. Quick stats that I have on the Strapino one. I don't have stats on this because I bought this off of Amazon a long time ago and it served me well, but I think I'm gonna like this Strapino one a little bit better just because it's retractable other than having to deal with this. But quick stats, I have it on my phone quick. So the strap boasts a substantial 1,617 pound working load limit and a robust 48, 50 pound braking strength. So this one is an inch and a half. Uh, this little soft shackle is the same thickness as the other one. So it is an inch and a half as opposed to the one, the other one I have, which is probably about an inch. Might be a little overkill for strapping stuff down in the bed of your truck. Really these are made for a little bit more of like automotive transport, I guess, like a side-by-side -side ATV or something like that. But it can be used for other things and that's what we're gonna use it for. So this is the inch and a half one. Those were your stats on working loads and let's see how long this thing is. It's this long. This might be the worst way to measure it, but I'll give you the actual measurement. Now let's show possibly the best feature about this ratchet strap. Done. Another feature I am pretty fond of with this ratchet strap is, is that it has this like locking guy on your little S hook here. Um, anyone that has dealt with a regular ratchet strap knows that these are usually open and they kind of just hook on and you gotta get lucky that it stays on. So this is the back of my truck. We have one of the little standard S hooks, just like that. Put it on. Yes, it stays on, but you start moving stuff. If you gotta like swing your hook or swing the strap around something, there's a chance that falls off. Sometimes you could do it. This one is horizontal, so it works a little bit better. But when you have the little vertical one like that, sometimes it doesn't really want to stay very easily. As you see, it's just on, off, nothing holding it in place. But when you have a little ratchet strap like that, clip it on, that's not coming off. Up there, up there. You don't really have to worry about the other end of it. Easy one person job then. I mean, the other one is a one person job, but this was really easy one person. Now we're just gonna go over another difference between like this Strapino retractable style one and your standard one. So these do come in handy if you make trips to like Home Depot and stuff like that pretty often, but this is how I store my ratchet strap and every time you wanna use it, you gotta like, like that. Then your standard ratchet strap, obviously if you see it's all, it's all pretty tangled right now, twisted, which not the end of the world, you could, it's pretty easy to straighten that out, but you gotta make sure you feed it through 
your little ratcheting mechanism and you gotta make sure you do it on the correct side. Sometimes people forget, but you gotta make sure you send it through the correct side, unlock it, start using it. Haven't really had an issue with it other than um, probably just me being silly and not cutting this down a little shorter to make it a little more manageable, but really have never had an issue with this. But, strappy now makes it pretty easy like this. You have this whole little mechanism, which yes, it is a lot larger. Yes, it is larger than this when this is packed up the way I packed it up, but they do sell smaller ones than this. And I think I'm gonna look into getting one because I do like this system. You just unlock it. It's locked like this. This is how you use it. Unlock it like that, and then you have your ability to extend and retract it. Extend, retract, packed up. I like that. And now for a challenge. All right, so I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see the clock over here, but we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna strap something down to the bed. So this is gonna be the strap Eno is gonna go first. All right, I would say, uh, I would say we're done there. All right, and now we have the standard style started. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all knew uh, which one was gonna win that challenge. Another mild annoyance with your standard style one is now you have all this, like what do you do with this? So what I normally do instead of some like cool way to like strap it up that I've seen on the internet, I usually just find something to kind of strap it around in the bed just so it kind of uh, just something like that. Just so kind of doesn't have all that extra slack flapping around when you're on the highway or something like that. But that's just another benefit of one of these retractable style ratchet straps. Something to consider. All right, and then we're just gonna go over the soft shackle quick. Since this setup is really for more transport and whatnot, um, they do give you this so you don't have that sh uh, metal hook on any of your stuff. So your soft shackle, you really would like to use like a control arm if you have a solid axle truck, or I guess the rear of your truck, most likely a solid axle, you can put it on that. You have this little soft shackle, you basically take one end and feed it through the other, and then you have something to hook through. So if you had a wheel, you would just do like, kind of do this. You have that, then you have your little ratcheting system. You put that to wherever, and then I guess you would come this way, and, and then just, and then you would be like, oh, this is hooked to my trailer, and then you would just crank it, crank it down and you'd be nice and tight. Then once you want to release it, you have this little bar right here, and you just pull that, straight, then you're released, take your little hook off, retract, done. So like I said that I didn't have a trailer to strap anything down to to go for a ride. Um, what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna leave this tire in the back, I'm gonna strap it down with this Strapino retractable strap, and we're just gonna go for a ride on like a dirt road, and I'm expecting it not to move because it's made for vehicles and this is just a tire. Um, but let's go for it. Guess we'll just use this whole setup again. Actually want this all the way this way. Well, that was a little bit of fun. Truck's a mess now. But uh, let's check the back. 
Yeah, that is uh, exactly where I left it. Then once again, for ease of use, we'll just do this lever right there. Unhook there. I'm holding it with my hand. Retract. Done. I think that's enough of me going on about overall convenience of a set of retractable ratchet straps. Once again, I want to thank Strapino for sending these to me for a review, overview, whatever you would like to call it. Um, I will have a product link and I believe discount code down below. So if you are interested in these or other styles of these that they sell, because they do sell a couple different styles of these, go check the links down below. Check out those um, if you want to support the channel in any way. Go through those. Helps me out. Helps you out. Helps everyone out. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Well, subscribe mainly, I would guess. If you want to follow me on Instagram, follow me over here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And, uh... Now I gotta wash the truck.